Jeff, my name is Jeffrey Holland. I'm a sophomore at Pitzer. Uh, I am from Nashville, Tennessee, born and raised. Um, I went to an all-boys high school. That was very entertaining. It is rather, rather challenging to be out here, honestly. Um, it questions my morals, a bunch of different things between the social aspect and just kind of like, I mean, everyday language use. Like, I mean, when you go in all guys high school in the South, you can literally say anything you want. Right. Yeah. So I think, yeah. Out here, definitely can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Is it so hard to be comfortable in both both places, but especially at home? And like, I mean, when I'm back home with the guys, I just it feels so different and I just feel so out of place. But if I, I have like an, I have one friend who goes to Vanderbilt and so that's like relatively similar to here um, in the sense that, I mean, we just, we hang out a lot all the time, uh, me and him. But like, so there are a few friends that I can relate with, but in general, yeah, definitely feel way out of place. Needless to say, um, I'm a Catholic, conservative <laughs> I mean what else do I need to say what what like what about being here besides the censorship which is a huge fucking thing here. To yeah, it's like no, it's it's. <laughs> I I'm. What else is like a big key in you feeling uh, as a minority at Pitzer? Um. I mean, in terms of like, I mean, we can just go ahead and jump into what you really want me to talk about. <laughs> so, so, the I mean, the presidential election that is going on. I mean, out here at at barely talk about it and like if other people bring it up I really just don't chime in and I don't elaborate on what I would truly like want to say to be honest but I mean like for example when everyone like if you mention the word Trump here you get backlash like not just that's, here that's like a but, easy way of putting it yeah very yeah it's very simple very simple way to put it but I mean you get more than backlash you, yeah. you literally get destroyed um, but like, if you say it back home, I mean, it's relatively common and it's more accepted for sure. So that's one <sighs> fallen acorns. <laughs> uh, that's like a huge difference between here and there. Um, and it's just tough because to be honest, like, I don't really know my own political stance. Like, I'm not that big of a politics guy. Like, I mean, I'm, I would vote, but I've been semi-ballot in a time, so not voting. Everyone, you can get pissed at me later. It's fine. <laughs> um, but, no, yeah. So, I mean, did that kind of no, answer yeah. the question? I mean, I think a huge thing about this place is there's no, there's a right way to think and there's a wrong way to think. Exactly. I and they, they claim that yeah. there's a safe space for all opinions and thoughts and ideas, but that's the biggest load of shit. American base, the inner city, center city of Detroit. That's what they're telling us. We'll see when the votes come in. And we've been waiting a long time. And this is not atypical. Wayne County, we've been through this many nights, you and I will. Uh, the rest of us, Wayne County is always in Michigan, it's always late, if not last. Uh, and so you look up here again, the rest of the suburbs are starting to come in, 87%. Uh, campaign, they're going to be very happy with this if it sticks, but we're up to nearly 40% of the voting in Macomb County. This is an area 5441. Let's take a look at where the electoral You're college map stands right playing? now with the win in Georgia. Huh? Donald Trump is ahead. It's pretty he entertaining. He's closer to like 270. He's got 232 electoral votes. Like, to Hillary Clinton's I mean, 209, 270. I don't know. Once again, the magic you number. Don't Donald Trump. I don't think it'd be this close, to be honest. Win for like, him, uh, you really see all those red states. Water, those are states that Donald Trump has carried. The blue states are the states that Hillary Clinton has carried. The yellow states, no projection yet in those states. Uh, very, very close contest. Anderson, over to you. Well, thanks very much. We talked about this being a historic night early on.
no one even fathoms him winning. Yeah, I think so. They all thought it wouldn't even be close. And I'm like, I didn't either at first, but I knew there'd be a fight, dude. All these people who said they wouldn't vote for Trump and came out today voted for Trump. God, dude, I can't wait to see the reaction. Well, he hasn't won yet, but... My dad called me and he was like, yo, Jeff, are you watching this? I'm like, nah, like, what's going on? He said, well, if you don't look at any of the liberal stations, all the conservative ones are saying that he's already won. And I'm like, that's lit. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I got to go back to the room because people are going to riot. And he's like, yeah, send me fits, all right? <laughs> I'm like, all right, I will. Damn. No, nah, it's just going to be, it's so interesting, honestly. Like, What do you think, like, talk about um, what the atmosphere you think is going to be like if Trump wins? Because uh, you were going in thinking he wasn't going to win, right? Yeah, I didn't think he'd win at first. Um, I thought Hillary was kind of kind of blow him out of the park, but I wanted there to be a fight. And I didn't know it would be this close, like, marginal victory. But, um, dude, the atmosphere is just going to be... Uh, for me, it's... It's gonna be the exact opposite for everyone else than it is for me, because I'll just be like kind of pumped, low key on the outside. Right. And then everyone else is gonna be like, "Yo, fuck! Like the world's fucked. Like our 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 country's fucked." And I'm like, first off, it's so hard to pass anything in this country. Like, yeah, Trump will take technically be the face of our country, but I mean, I don't know. It's gonna make America great again, dude. Do you think, um, yeah, do you think the world will suck? Dude, uh, honestly, like, as a country, we're not even doing that well. Right. Like, so, it, in my eyes, it can't get much worse. Right. But, no, I mean, we'll actually see if he's, like, a good businessman. I mean, we'll see if he can make these deals that he claims he can optimistic, but hopefully he does, dude. Also be interesting to see with, like, all the immigrants, what's actually gonna happen, because you can't just... Yeah, or the gay people. Yeah, or the gay people. We'll see, dude. What are they saying back what home? What are they saying? Boys are saying, but like, two hours ago, one guy said, it's turning red, and then some guy's like, Trump forever. <laughs> And then another guy's like, am I the only one surrounded by a bunch of crooked Hillary supporters? And I said, you have no idea. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Um, if Trump actually wins, I mean, I don't know. They just can't really give me shit anymore. If I talk about him, like, actually, like, say something positive about him, like, he can't be that great fucking series. Right. You know, because he, he won, like, <laughs> they just have to accept the fact that he's president, which will definitely take them a long, long time. But most of them probably never will. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, the comment Beth made earlier about us being white men and nothing's going to change for us, or, like, like something's going to drastically change for her, it's just a load of shit. Mm-hmm. She's a white, privileged woman, <laughs> so, like, nothing's gonna change for her. Um, I don't know, dude. It'll be interesting to see. If we go back to, like, the immigration and all that stuff, like, if he actually, like, gets a control on it, and if he actually, like, kicks people out, or to what extent, you know? Mm-hmm. That would be interesting to see. Or, like, remember the other day when... I was talking to Nora, she was in her room. 
She's like, yeah, if Trump's president, like, he'll just kick my family out of the country. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> like, I didn't know how to fucking respond to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's just, to me, it's just going to be a lot of that. It's just going to be like, oh, shit. Um, I'm sorry. But, mm-hmm. I mean, I think, I don't know. I think the majority of people here will be fine. Um, you believe that? Yeah, I do. I mean, I bet there's a few that are going to get affected. But I, I, I mean, it's just, it all depends on what he can actually, like, get past. I mean, it's going to be so hard to pass anything on any of any of those stances. I don't know. Hey, friends. Tell us what just happened. Um, well, drop that Florida. Let's just see part of that. No worries, fam. I'm taxed. I can't tell you what you were doing, my daughter. Not much good set up in here. How are you feeling? Not much good set up in here, Ryan! It's really very sad. It's about pushing yourself as far as you Huh? What? He's gonna win. Stacey Donald Trump, he has 268 electoral votes. Uh, he needs two more to become president of the United States, president elect of the United States. She has 215. Take a look at that 268 electoral votes. Uh, uh, 268 votes for Donald Trump. Uh, Jim Acosta, you're over there at Donald Trump uh, headquarters at the New York Brooklyn Hotel in New York. They're going pretty, they're pretty excited. Right Great now. start the bar, dog. How much action is going to take in how much he's just lost? Yeah. And how much he can get past? It was so much talk. But, like, there's no way that all of that is going to happen. Like, of that, what is going to happen? to introduce to you the president-elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Right now, a historic moment. Uh, we can now project the winner of the presidential race. CNN projects Donald Trump wins the presidency. The business tycoon and TV personality capping his improbable political journey with an astounding upset victory. Donald J. Trump will become the 45th president of the United States, defeating Hillary Clinton in a campaign unlike anything we've seen in our lifetime. Donald Trump wins the presidency of the United States. He is now going to be called president-elect. Donald Trump, he's walking up right now. You see him right there. He's going to be speaking momentarily. He's got his wife there. History has been made. Jake, this is a moment a lot of people are going to remember. So, yeah, let's start with telling me, not the camera, just me, right. what your thoughts are on the election outcome. Yeah, uh, definitely the election outcome was a, uh, was a huge shocker, not just for myself, but for everyone else and the entire world. Um, as... As like more votes are getting poured in and more re- results getting said on CNN and such, like you can tell the demeanor and everyone just totally changed. Mm-hmm. Like, I think once he won Pennsylvania, I think it was that uh, they were just like, "Oh shit, he's gonna win!" Like, what do we do? Like, what do we do now? And um, then, like, dude, everything just kind of blew up. What was your initial feelings during the election? Like. I was just shocked. Like, I wasn't happy. I wasn't mad. I was just shocked. Like, I was like, I knew he would do better than everyone would say, but I honestly, I didn't think he'd win. Um, but, like, there are a lot of people who just wouldn't say they would vote for him because of, like, the backlash that people would give him, you know? Um, so, like, there were definitely a lot of hidden voters out there in the rural areas. But, uh, yeah, dude, it was just shocking. Like I'm, like I said, I'm not mad, but I'm not thrilled, and it's just, it is what it is. Do you want to elaborate on that? Are you like scared? Are you not? I, scared? Are you hopeful? Like, what are the? That's some of the words that come to mind. Yeah. Um. 
I'm not scared. I'm more scared, like, the people now, honestly. I mean, just kind of like all the riots and the protests that have taken place, which they have the right to do. There's no reason. I mean, there's no validity against that, because freedom of speech, they have the right to do that, to a certain extent. Like, people in Portland are bashing in windows, like, setting fires to stores and stuff. I'm like, that's that's not going to prove anything. But, um, yeah, dude, I, I'm hopeful. I hope, I mean... At this point, he's our president. Like, you gotta hope that he does well. You gotta hope that he unites the country because it's even more divided than it was before the election. But like, I'm just I'm hopeful that he makes our country better, and business wise, and just like I would say, general people happiness and morality wise, and he just like kind of gets everything in control and just like you know. So what has? Um Like, has my life, life been like? Been like after. Uh, it's been an up and down, dude. Um, the first twenty four hours sucked. Like I fuck, like I hated it. I was convinced myself, yeah, I'm transferring. Like these people are really just gonna judge me and not talk to me over all yeah, of this. What happens, yeah, uh, but just kind of. So the day after, I mean, just a bunch of my friends just wouldn't talk to me. Like we were sitting in here, and you know, Beth. She didn't look at me or acknowledge me that I was there. I'd have to, like, talk to her directly, texted her, like, yo, why aren't you in math? Like, I don't know. She didn't talk to me for the entire day. Things felt awkward with Parth, and that's the first time they've ever been awkward since, since we've met. Yeah. Um, except for that one time he told me to turn my music down, and then two seconds later he was like, yo, dude, I'm sorry, like, <laughs> that was kind of me, and I'm like, yeah, dude, I, that felt weird too, but I'll turn it down, um, but no, yeah, and I, like, m- multiple other people didn't talk to me, um, we know who, but, uh, yeah, it's just, I just felt like, if this is the way it's gonna be, since now that he's elected, like, I'm, I'm leaving, like, I don't, I don't want to be here, people aren't gonna talk to me, because I'm somewhat Republican. Uh, I just, I want people to know that, yeah, I'm a southern white privileged male, but if you get to know me, like, I will probably be opposite of everything you could possibly think of one, um, like, in the majority of things, and I just want people to value me by my, like, opinions and personal qualities and characteristics that, you know, just make me different from everyone, like, I just want people to judge me on that rather than on the clothes I wear or who I might be affiliated with politically because I think people judge me on a lot of stupid stuff. I don't know. I don't know if they judge me, but, yeah, I just want people to, you know, just like me for who I am. Like, don't not like me for who I may be affiliated with. And... Um, to all the people who don't, did not want Trump as president, like, sorry, he is. And I hope the sooner y'all can get, get past what he said, and I know that's very easily said than done, but as soon as y'all can get past that and we can all come together as a nation, like, that's just going to, that's going to what makes, that's going to what, that is going to be what makes this country great again.